Hey everybody, it's George from Experience Points. This is Scott from Experience Points. And we have a story to tell you. It's about my uncle. About mon uncle. Wait, your uncle? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're related! <laughs> Familial revelations. <laughs> uh, we're going to play a story about my uncle. Uh, this is a little indie game. And I'm just going to start us off, because there's yeah. a little wise to like get through stuff. Okay. Oh. Oh no! Uh, it's too late. Wait. It's too late. Oh jeez. It's too late. That's fine. Dad? I'm not that far. Aren't you fine. sleeping yet? Go to bed! <laughs> Do you know what time it is? I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? You said these All right. this is from Sweden? They are. This game is by a one Gone North Games. Okay. Um, That's the North. From Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah. That is technically North. Yeah. Just the thing. Unfortunately, the voice acting isn't great. I was your age, Probably because they're Swedish. <laughs> we all know right. Swedish people can't act. <laughs> That's, I'm, I mean, I'm sure people used to the accent or think it's fun. Yeah. You know what they should do is... Mom? Dad? This has gone home, everybody. Um, zoom, zoom, zoom. We talked a little bit about this on the podcast, but... Uh, this was billed as a not non-violent first-person game. Yep. Yeah. Although, I mean, I feel like you really to be non-violent, you have to be a little bit more than just not violent. Like non-violence is a thing. Oh well, well, I don't think they mean like the political construction well, of use, like. <laughs> shouldn't use non-violent then, should they? I don't think they mean it as in the radical sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I'm not that far into the game. Yeah. Smaller in size. Sweet steampunk hand. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. So it he's telling, he's narrating this as you're playing. Custom made for me. Yep. Uh, the most mysterious. Well, he's narrating it to like his daughter, right. or whoever this child is. Right. There he kept Maybe there's a twist at the end. Oh, it's you. It's been you the whole time. <laughs> you're a twelve-year-old girl. For disposing of garbage. Uh oh. Okay. Science gone wrong. Yeah. Grappling hooks. Has science gone too far? There's always a, a man. There's always a light station. Oh, jeez. Oh, cold, cold, cold. When you wish upon a star. Huh. Whoa. whoa. It's funny, because he said that Uncle was using this to get rid of trash. Yeah. So he's just firing trash into the into the air. That's the whole story. But my my, my <laughs> uncle is a is an environmental pest. <laughs> Daddy, I don't like this story anymore. That's okay. The police took him away. Yeah. He's been dead for years. This is really this is really more the, the game. Okay, there we go. We got one handout. There's yeah. some, the suit, I wasn't some canned beans here. Beef. I had no idea Key lime pie in a tube. That's funny. Why? But it's just like very um, kind of uh, what do they call the, the like the Bioshock System Shock games, um, oh, like an environmental, environmental story simulation or something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah, immersive sim. That's what they call it. Ooh, you're booking. This is fast movement. Yeah, it's very fast. Yeah. The suit protected me from falls. Whoa! I died. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! <laughs> press and hold A to jump. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you can run, right? And then yeah. jumping, you like you can jump quite far. Yeah. But if you floaty. hold down the right bumper, mm -hmm. and then you jump really far. Oh, okay. And so if you're running while you hold onto that, you jump crazy far. Like, okay. For example. Woo. Okay. So you charge up your thing, and then do you have to release it when you jump, or does you, it automatically? Yeah, you, you gotta release it. Yeah. Okay. Sure if you don't release it, will it not activate? Correct. Okay. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Was that a boost thing? Uh, no, that's a that's the checkpoint system. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, but you can. It's funny because you can actually go past the checkpoints. Oh, you... so you actually have to touch the checkpoints. You do, to, yeah. yeah. I think. I imagine there's probably some that are okay. But really, the game is about having a grappling hook hand, which we don't have yet. So we'll just show that. It's a nice looking hand. Yeah, the left hand not so much though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of steampunky. It is, right? yeah. Why's it gotta be a white dude's hand? Uh, huh? That's, that's so Swedish. Swedish. <laughs> Not a lot of Mexican folks in Sweden. No, I bet you there's some. Vice... How many Mexican folks do you think there are in Sweden? Well, so there was a Vice uh, a long time ago. Uh, Vice is a uh, not great. Let's be honest. 
Uh, is he not great? <laughs> great. You just you just <laughs> poked the dragon. It's going to be Vice Investigates Experience Points dot net. Well, Did you know that these guys don't even have their own business license? <laughs> <laughs> Vice is really like a sort of. How would you describe Vice? Um, it's like a it's kind of sub hipster tabloidy almost. Yeah, it really um, is. It's like oh, we got we smoke crack cocaine in the jungles <laughs> of Peru. But I mean, to be fair, they do go to p- weird places like North Korea and the Philippines that you could probably get hurt in. I guess. Like, all right, real quick, break from talking about okay, tabloids. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So I've got the grappling hook thing. Yeah. If you notice, is that the, uh, hands... the left quad or the left? Uh third there is glowing right now that, that left third is glowing so that's a one charge right now i have okay. one charge so i can hold on to something okay and i'll i'll just zoom to it right um and once i do that the mark is like permanently on the ground right there see? Oh, okay. so which is kind of really a clever way of making the environment readable after you die because uh, you're like oh i shouldn't grapple on there yep. or oh right where do i need to grapple on to do you, so you see... clear those places or do they can you have like almost effectively unlimited number of marks uh, you can have like unlimited okay. marks, yeah. I guess it clears after five. Okay. Like. Well, five is still a fair amount. Um, but you could like, <clears throat> I can just use it to just travel faster. Right. And it recharges whenever I touch the ground. So, okay. And then if I'm like really want to get back onto the ground, see how I kind of fall slowly? Uh-huh. I could go faster with that. And so it can hook on to any surface, or are there portal like rules where it can only? Um, there. Are... I don't really know. There are portal like rules, Maybe like there are some the things. It's it's right. distance based, right? But like I can grab onto most anything. Like I could, I could probably see where the line becomes thicker. Yep. Like I can go up here. Oh. I don't. I wouldn't have a reason to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go up here if I want to. Which is pretty cool. Anyway, what were we talking about about Vice? Um. Well, first we were talking some shit about Vice. Yes. <clears throat> uh, yes, I, I I understand people's reservations. But about why are we talking shit about? Vice? Oh, because we're trying to figure out how many Mexican people are in Sweden. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. And we're thinking that probably Vice would have done something like Mexicans around the world. You know, yeah. So you know, yeah, then, Vice yeah. did exactly that. And oh, they okay. They, I should write for Vice. We should write yeah. for Vice. <laughs> they interviewed a bunch of like Mexican expats. Huh. Yeah. From Mexico or Mexican Americans who have gone. Traveling? They were like Mexican Americans for the okay. most part. I died. Um, were these people that were that left for work or for family or like? I think mostly it was just like young hipsters who were like, but both I guess. Okay. Um, There's a big difference between like bumming around Sweden in your twenties as a cool Mexican person and like um, I'm I mean, gonna for... get kicked out of the United States, so I'm gonna now go to Sweden because you know my parents came here illegally and now we're scared. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I imagine there are, I mean, there are at least a few, right? Like, there has to be they a few, interviewed yeah. someone that was like, uh, you know, a Mexican in uh, Japan, for example. Oh, wow. How many Mexicans are in Japan? Like, five? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Ironically, they all hate each other. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, Combine the jump and the grapple. Okay, yeah, so, you, so you should yeah, use leap. your jump and then leap up. And then, bam, Spider Man. But once you use your grapple and your jump, you're you're done until you hit the ground. Yep. Okay. But you could see how, like, if you... Oh, Whoa, shit, you just fling yourself, yeah. <laughs> but you could see how, like, this get really gets the feel of, uh... Oh, here we go, let's go there. Of being sort of Spider-Man, right? Cause... Especially once you get your... I'm assuming you can now... F- you eventually fill up to get three yep. uh, oh, versions. Yep. Okay, and so you could do a swing, swing, swing. Yes, correct. Yeah. I only have two in the game that I'm playing, yeah. but let's just go there. Bam. This is a, you know, it's, you're just seeing how people are dealing with, like, the madness of trying to do platforming in 3D. And, like, these, you know, this game takes it, like, the floaty direction. Yeah. You know, like, we have to give people time to be able to reorient. Or else they'll just fall all the time. Yeah. Which is a shame you can't do that in real life, am I right? <laughs> I that That's kind of how my dreams are. Are your dreams like this? My dr- my <laughs> dreams... In... I only, for some reason, I have the same dream every night. It's just a hellscape of, <laughs> of torture and... Uh, I don't know what it is. These demons keep stabbing me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Are you controlling the... Um, like the length of your grapple? Come on, come on. No. I, I'm not. No. Okay. 
There's a max distance. Uh, I don't know what it is yet. And does it reel itself in, or do you reel it in? It, it reels itself okay. in. Yeah, I can't. Reel so you're it trying to like fling long. yourself a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if you're hitting it on the on, arc, fuck. we have to hit it as it's coming up the parabola. Yeah. And then it'll fling you. Precisely. Oh, that's cool. So maybe right now. Yeah. There we go. But that's kind of how Spider-Man works, right? Yeah. I mean, that's that's web slinging, except that. In most of the Spider-Man comic books and cartoons, he cheats because it's hooked onto something off-panel, and you have no idea yeah, what it exactly. is. Yeah, exactly. Stupid Spider-Man. <laughs> what am I gonna... Right there. That's that's pretty neat. Uh, what I'm saying is, in my dreams, I often have movement that feels a lot like this. Like I will, I'll be running, and if I try to stop running, it's like low physics. Like I'll keep going. Like I'll skid for a long time. That's weird. But I'll be able to jump really high and really far, but it's it's difficult uh, to like make precise movements, which sometimes turns it into a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but, like the dream starts off fine. You're like, oh look at me, I'm so cool. But then it's like, oh I have to get, I have to, you know, I'm being chased by something or, or something like that, and like I don't need to be floaty, I need to be fast. Right. And that's you know, obviously that won't work. The worst dreams. Uh, is that it also applies to vehicles that I'm in. Uh -huh. So, like, I'm trying to drive a car, but, like, it won't turn. Like, it'll turn like one of these guys will turn. Yeah. And so, like, I try to go left, but it's like, oh, gosh, I'm going to hit this wall. Okay, hopefully it won't be too bad. Crunch into the wall, then, like, start moving again. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound pretty terrifying. It's, man, car dreams are bad dreams. Oh, shit. Oh, we did it. Nice. Oh, good job. I found a second power core. I can now grapple twice. So, um, you can, if you, if you hit, if you hit the wall, your grapple will still, like, bring you up the edge of the wall. Yes. Like, you yeah. just won't hit your face into a wall and then fall Yeah, down. and you can yeah. time it right. Like, yeah. I mean, like, this one's, this one's really tough. And then hope I can... Hit a second one. Nice. And then hopefully, nice. yeah, yeah. So are those? Uh, I, I really want to see speedruns of this game because yeah. I bet you there are people who are just crazy good. Yeah. And who like know how to grapple to like certain things, you know, to like make them faster. Are those glyphs just meant as kind of a suggestion, like you know, the glyph that's on this rock that's spinning around right now? Yeah, I presume so. Yeah, yeah. They talk about like that's where your um. Oh, it's gonna be tough. That's where your uncle grappled. Oh right. I yeah, I was probably too busy talking about Mexicans in Sweden. <laughs> if you're a Mexican in Sweden watching this... Please leave a comment. I want to know about your life. <clears throat> if you're a Mexican in Sweden, you should start a restaurant. Yes, 100%. You know what the actual problem is, though, is you just can't get good ingredients. That's true. Guys? Uh... Don't leave me here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he flails, too. That's terrifying. Um, I that would... was the thing about living in the UK. Oh God. Yeah, dude. Terrible Mexican Tell me about food. It. Like, Come it was on. just rough. Come on. Oh, well, you have a second grapple, couldn't you have gone? Yeah, I just I didn't have the distance. Uh, how how far is your grapple? Do you have a sense of that? Um. Try it. Not. Oh. I don't. Oh, I guess I can try here. All right, so let's go that. Well, way. you're gonna fall if you do that. No, I'll just go slowly this way. I'm not gonna grapple. Okay. Right. Okay, that's too far. Man. All right, we'll go to this rock. That's so pretty far. I does mean, your still... your reticle glows basically when yeah, it's yeah, my valid? Glows if I can... Okay. Okay, I got it. It thickens. I, I wasn't noticing that like at a, first. Like a porridge. Yeah. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, I mean that's pretty far. Yeah. And it just uh, regenerates on its own. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. I went to a Mexican restaurant in somewhere in England, and it was not good. No, nope. it was not good. And one night I tried to make Mexican food for some friends, and I don't know. The I ingredients are rough. Could not find tortillas. Uh, That's tomatoes. because they keep them in a weird place in the store. Han and I what, figured this uh, out. Really? Like we couldn't find tortillas for a while, and they kept them in a completely. But they different do have area. them. Yeah. Weird. They don't taste that great, but. I, the other thing is uh, when we, we went to a Mexican restaurant one time and they were like, 
oh, this is quite spicy. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Like, they, they tried to, like, make us taste the salsa before. Yeah. We're like, no, man. We're from California. Yeah. Like, this, this is, is not, not spicy. Yeah, like... They're like, oh, be careful! It's very spicy. It's very, like, like, do they have people come back up to the counter saying, "This is far too <laughs> spicy"? What have you done? <laughs> You've ruined this Good meal, sir. Good yeah. sir. <laughs> um, the devil's pepper is on this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have a British friend, and he loves spicy foods. British people do like spicy food because yeah. Indian food. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't but, get why they're so scared of Mexican food. Well, a lot of people don't don't like spicy foods. What he's saying, and he's like, he he likes spicy foods, but he's the first to admit, like. The Brits have... Uh-oh. Nice. <laughs> Saved. Uh, uh, they just don't have good food. Like, they have good curry and stuff, but it's like, you know, and there's certain pies and right. meat pies and stuff that they do well, but it's like... You know, I, I've i lived in California most of my whole life, and yeah. while I've spent a decent amount of time in a few other places, I've never lived long enough to really miss how easy it is to find good quality produce yeah. here. Yeah. Like... Avocado, like I see people on on Twitter all the time being like, "Oh, I'm, you know, I'm living in Washington now, and I just want a good peach, and I can't yep. find a good peach." Yeah, and it's like I, I think at this you point poor I take souls. Yeah, I take things for granted that yeah. when I bite into like a ripe fruit, it's gonna be an amazing, delicious ripe fruit, yeah. not oh, a bland, oh my god, grainy. Ah, ah, <laughs> kill it, kill it. Ah, what's the gun button? You look just like I that. see you. <laughs> so there are frog people in this game. Holy crap. Jeez. This is why they're in this environment. They can, like, grapple to... Well, they can't grapple. Like, she just jumps, and she's, like, a badass frog lady. Yeah, but, like, they can stick to these rocks, whereas you need to use technology. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's actually kind of a touching story, because she, like, kind of sees... She's, like, kind of an orphan, I guess. Right. And she sees this uncle... Oh, and her glasses are broken? That's going to be a sad story at some oh, point. You're going to have a flashback Probably of how right. those glasses got broken? <laughs> it's going to be rough. Um, and uh, she hangs out with my uncle... Uh, quite a bit, village, right? and he's never had children, so I think he sort of square. sees. Watch, she's just gonna she. jump. I bet you can yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, now this is. So, man, you look a lot like my uncle. Like <laughs> <laughs> See what? No! <laughs> oh, they are more like salamanders. It's a good call, guy. Or more like salamanders. Either way, if they walk like humans, and they talk like humans. How is that possible? But they're not. They're filthy blue creatures from <laughs> the depths of hell. Let, let us enslave them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how would, how would, you know, historically if, speaking. Historically speaking, if we discovered blue people underneath the earth, we would just try come on, to. Come on, come on, yes! Would, we would just destroy them. Yeah, come on, let's be yeah, honest, people. Like, and who knows, maybe we have discovered blue people under the yeah, earth. Yeah, they've, they've them. just taken care of it. It's kind of like when. A while ago, Stephen Hawking was like, "Hey, if there's if there's aliens, they're gonna colonize and enslave us." How terrifying is that, man? People listen to Stephen Hawking, and if he's like, "Aliens are gonna come, and they're totally gonna like," well, Oops. I mean, it is like historically speaking, most visiting others have been at most a troublesome visit. <laughs> you know, at, like at best, it's yeah. been a troublesome visit. Yes, and at worst, entire people have been destroyed. Like. Oh, man, good save. Oh, pro. <laughs> pro story about my uncle. Yeah, we're taking this on the eSports scene. Um, I think I go this way. Are all those light sources over there also the... Um, oh, maybe maybe, maybe we're not going oh, that no, way. Oh, no, we are. Are those also, like, the lamps? They're just kind of... Oh, no, I guess this is what I can. Um, yeah, they're, like, there's a small village up here, mm. and they're all using, like, human trash. <laughs> this is like when you flush the toilet? Like... <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> They're basically the borrowers. <laughs> <laughs> but disgusting blue underdwellers. Yeah, see, they've got like a little village made out of... Like, Don't touch me. Tubes and stuff. Yeah. And candles. I don't know what, what this is. Like, biofluorescence. Yeah, bioluminescent. <laughs> bioluminescence. Yeah. Hey! Get off my back. Oh, Show jeez, me. there are people. Ah, They're everywhere! <laughs> He has like a whole life down here. He has a, this is my life now, son. Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mostly See, look. boring stuff. Four tomatoes equals yeah. two corn. But they have like simple this bartering. Is their bartering yeah. system. Yeah. You should check out. Look, there's a. It's not so bad. 
Unless you have to stay for too long. But Look, see, there's a crowbar. Many... Gordon Freeman has been down here. Oh, man. I, I bet you that's probably like yeah, that's a, probably a little Easter egg, yeah. In, in joke. I'll yeah. go on ahead and tell them that you're coming. That's why they're so poor. Like Gordon like Freeman came here and just destroyed all the This is where, boxes. like, all of Black Mesa's technology comes from. I thanked Madeline. And but agreed to meet how her many her. corn for three fish? Oh, jeez. How could I talk to someone look. who was not even you? There's, like, fish people, too. Feel like you see that? Oh, yeah. Some of them have legs. Some of them have legs, but fish... There's a mermaid with a human torso, and then a mermaid with mermaid. a human... It's called a maid mer, Scott. Ma <laughs> They're drawing of the village. They don't yeah. really have much to do down here. They're, like, radioactive. Guys, yeah, that's, what did you build uh, this out like of? Scrap metal, apparently. The moon. But it's kind of, you know, it's kind of cute. Wow. Whole they just really went for it. I, I expected this to be a much bigger reveal, basically. Oh, about the village? Yeah, yeah. Get out of that fire! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> My people do not burn! Fear us! <laughs> uh, maybe your suit prevents you from... What happens if you try to uh, use a grapple hook on one of these people? Oh, I've done it. It oh, just goes, okay. it just right goes through, through them, them yeah. yeah. The grappling hook does not bind to human flesh. <laughs> Further experiments will need to be done. No! <laughs> Oh gosh, how many children do you think die every year? Well, I mean, they're like frog people. I don't think they can die. Oh. Hey, that's mine! <laughs> my mother threw that away years ago. <laughs> this is my X-Wing toy. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? You took it out of the package, you, you monster! <laughs> you monster! Yeah. That wasn't garbage. Oh, now it is. Just <laughs> yeah, keep now it. <laughs> it's been touched by blue blood. <laughs> <laughs> the blue skins. <laughs> I like imagining a, just a terribly racist yeah. protagonist. Somebody needs to fix this board over Yeah, here. why Guys, would they do that? What are you doing? Where's your local wood smith? If we only get wood when it's thrown into this cavern. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But they have electricity. Tomatoes are coming nice this year. Well, that's a lot of corn. Wow, so the skin is different colors. Oh, well, yeah. Just like actual frog people. I mean, usually though, in anything, like whether it's Star Trek or, or Mass Effect or anything, like aliens tend to be like uni ethnic. Really? Yeah. I think when I mean, you think about it, like with some exceptions, I mean, they, you know, they never make a mention of it. Like, like there are black Klingons and lighter skinned Klingons and like black Vulcans and white Vulcans, but they never talk about like you know different cultural. Like setups within those people. Yeah, they don't talk about like the racism. Yeah, exactly. For each other. Yeah. God, God damn it! No! I mean, they don't do it with humans that much either, but they ha they at least acknowledge it. That like race is a thing. Yeah, yeah. they'll they'll be like. People are hella racist in that quadrant. <laughs> <laughs> don't go out to that. Don't go out to that those. quadrant, man. They they just straight up hate black people. Keep your shields up in that quadrant. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna want to say your phasers to kill yeah. because they are gonna mess you up i just want you to know I mean, there's acknowledgement of like oh yeah back on earth where people of different yeah. races yeah. used Listen, to treat Levar. each other yeah like like especially when they had uh cisco because he was like the black captain um but they don't they don't talk about i mean it's not a problem anymore for them. we don't talk about cisco yeah we don't talk about Cisco. Cisco became like an ethereal being at the end of that series. What? Yeah. There's not a conversation that goes by that somehow doesn't come to the conversation of Star Trek, <laughs> and I'm not somehow blown away. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, you know, it's a problem of numbers. Like, there's just so many episodes to fill, like, eventually you're going to hit every single story. This is Grandpa Frog. Wow. Man. Mighty Beard! Yeah. I'll remain nice clock, buddy. And we will do our best. It's an alarm clock. That's funny. It is. Yeah. Please tell us what brings you here. I that necklace. <laughs> All of your gold will be mine. <laughs> do you know where he is? They chat up for quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, we're getting to the point where we should probably wrap it up yeah. since we don't want to. I mean, obviously, this is like pretty story driven. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of it, after this point, it's mostly just jumping around, but um, this this young girl sort of joins you and offers some flavorful commentary and stuff as we go. So that's cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Jerk. Go back to your hovel, Madeline. The crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline. First learn English, Madeline. Mm. It's kind of shocking that they know English. Well, I mean, dictionaries. People throw away dictionaries and stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Does this take place in a... Well, they're, they're, I think they're not even... They're just mutants, dude. This is our future yeah. 3,000 years from now. Right, it's not actually a steampunk 19th century. It's like a far-flung future. It's a far-flung future. After World like, War Three. Exactly. These yeah. people took shelter yeah. after the first nuclear war. This is like Vault 407. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like, things... Some people decided to leave the caves. Yeah. They decided to stay, and this is what they've become. Yeah. Wicked eyebrows down there, right? Yeah. Yeah. And go into the chasms. It's pronounced chasm. <laughs> I've been down here for a long time. Take care of her. Hmm. Be safe. This is the guy who showed up in the last episode of Game of Thrones this season. <laughs> yes. Whoa! You will never walk again. <laughs> <laughs> but you will grappling hook. <laughs> right. Can you go into that water? Hell yeah, I was born to go into the water. Well, no, I mean, me... I mean the little pool that's down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's... What? This is the breeding ground. Get out. These are. This is oh their children. God. You're right. That's pretty Don't step on them. Disturbing. Oh, God. Ah! There's a lot of genetic material in here, too. I kill them at their souls. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? What's that say? So this is actually um, a language that... That, that, that girl can translate for you. Oh, wow. So this probably says something. like. Probably can, can we actually map it to letters? Do you think? Yeah, I think you can, actually. Oh, wow. Briefly. I bet you there's probably like a Kickstarter backer. A <laughs> <laughs> Radian. Yeah. Yeah, this is their... This is like the spawning point. That's pretty gross, dude. Yeah, just... Ugh. Wipe your feet off. This is a neat game. Tell us the, the name of this game once more. Once more, this game is called A Story About My Uncle, and yeah, it's by Gone North, North Games, Games, and it's on sale for right now on Steam for like 10 or 15 bucks. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play this. This is pretty sweet. Would it be safe enough for me? I, nothing about this is safe, you fool. Let's make this last jump Damn. perfect. All right. ExperiencePoints.net. Come visit us. Bye. Promise there won't be any filthy blue people. <laughs> <laughs> ah!